Oh, is that the rainbow gas? Aren't I supposed to avoid that? Well, I'm not dead yet. An old sedan lurks in the greenery. Done. The crashed space debris is masked by a patina of rust and grime. This old terminal is actually still active. Remote into the data core. Um, let's speak with Pooch first. This man is badly injured. Broken leg, at least three cracked ribs, compressed spine. But he is breathing. No internal bleeding, but we must stabilize him before we move him. Tough for a human, though. Must have been a hell of a journey down. Wait, so when they said Dawn, is Dawn actually here? I didn't even see them. I didn't even see there was a body. Also, that's what the medical gets for, I guess. I didn't think you'd be able to diagnose injuries. I am trained for field operations. Looking after my squad is one of my primary functions. You think you're a soldier? I am a soldier. I am an agnate neural mapping prototype. The first agnates were radio controlled automatons, but they did not do well in active situations. Then they made the neural maps. Agnates that could adapt to anything. My model was programmed to bond with humans. Fear of our squad's death was built in by design. It never quite worked on me, but I retained all the training. Why didn't it work on you? Unknown. They tried and tried. Perhaps I am simply not built to bond with humans. Why program emotions into agnates? Emotions can assist with creative thinking. Fear of death can be a motivating force to push past all limits. They also believed it would improve camaraderie between agnates and humans. Who are they, exactly? Penrose Allied. Have you had much contact with other agnates? No, I haven't. I stayed out of most of the big tech leaps. Why? It seems like agnate technology was everywhere in a matter of years. From what I saw, they disrupted the way the world worked. Maybe they did some good, but at what cost? I can do some good for you right now, civilian. We must hurry if your brother is to survive this. Oh yeah, there they are. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Can't revive Don with first aid kit by clicking on the thing that says revive Don with first aid kit. Must open inventory and drag first aid kit to revive Don with first aid kit. Marky, you found me. I was worried for a second there. Kept blacking out. I thought I heard you and the dog, but I wasn't sure. How do you feel? You know, I'm not quite sure what half of those drugs actually do. I feel great, actually. Even the old gut feels like it's cleared up. So where the hell are we? Not where. When. We're still in South Africa. But I think we traveled in time. That's not possible, bro. That shit's for science fiction stories. I love that line. That's not possible, bro. I know it seems unbelievable, but it's true. So everyone we knew, they all gone. Dead. How? How the hell did that thing make us travel in time? Are we stuck here? Can we get back? It's a lot of questions. I don't know all the answers, but I know we can get back. We can open up a portal back home. We just need three things to do it, and then we'll be on our way back to our time. You know where these things are? No, but we will find them together, all three of us. I got your back, Mark. Let's do this.
Ah, more symbols. Hmm. Some of these barely see like, seem like symbols at all. There's just some little blips, but they don't seem to have a pattern. It's only the top ones that look like anything real. System Diagnostics Error Disaster Simulation Enable? I guess? Enable at remote location. Did something. The chutes attached to the ejection seat flutter in the hot gusts of savannah wind. Large wildcats with scaly skin like armadillos lounges in the shade. The lab has sunken into the surrounding stone and soil. Acacias are an iconic part of the savanna. For a second, you could believe this was a holiday postcard and not a post-apocalyptic wasteland. I think that's it. Isn't this where I was supposed to find the part that they need, though? I don't know, it enabled something at a remote site. Which remote site? I guess one of the other crafts we've seen. Wait, what's rock face? The heck is that? That wasn't there before, right? Oh, right, they knew about two locations. One to the north, which we just went to, and then I guess this one. Right, so that one had Dawn, but it didn't have what we needed. Or what they needed. Oh, so green. I see rainbow gas everywhere. Is that not poison? Ha! What a view! That's cool. We can see the warden in the distance. The stark outline of a mountain range is visible below. The hatch looks rusted and rickety. Disaster simulation in progress. Okay, so we did have to do it the other place to get this to work, I guess. Warning, event may result in a core ejection event. I guess that's what we want. Why is there a dancing goat? Ah, this is what the symbols are for. Spore, spore, spore. Oh, each of these represents a different thing. <laughs> Payload warning. Fuel cell temperature high. I guess that's the simulation.
Alright, um... There might be more symbols around here. We've already got two sets of symbols, so let's look around first. Don't want to try to solve a puzzle when I might not have all the pieces yet. The rusting hulk sits precariously on the cliff's edge. Yep, third set of trace symbols. Looks like an old diagram of some kind. The tree's delicate leaves whisper as the air stirs. What's this? <laughs> More gold. So you really gotta explore everywhere. Like, you can't even see the item on the ground. Just when you get near it, the take item appears. If I didn't get near that, I wouldn't have gotten that. And then I probably wouldn't have enough credits to buy the other stuff that I'm sure we're gonna need. This gold item could be used for trade. Yeah, it looks like that's it. Let's try to go solve it. Okay, I think I've put together most of the puzzle. So this one shows you... Um, actually, I should back out for a second and show you this. It's a 4x4 four four grid of pictures that we can change. You can see that there's like scribbles up here looking like placeholders for the other slots. So with those up there being empty, this is the bottom two rows showing us what to set the bottom two. Two. And this shows what to set the top row to. So then now the only thing left is the one from the top row. This one. Which is told by this. And I know that this here, this line is that one from the top row, even though it's hard to tell. Because below this it shows a heart and then a battery. And if we look here, we have a heart and then a battery. One above this is... One from the top, which is the one we need, which means this goes in the empty spot. Pictures are a little bit hard to make out, but shouldn't be too hard to figure out. It's like, looks like a, I don't know, a potion creature water drop skull. I think, oh, there was potion. Potion. Cute little creature. It's really cute. Water drop. What was the other one? Skull. Okay, if that didn't do it, then I'm... I'm pretty confident, I'm very confident about the water droplet, I think. Let me just double check. That's definitely a water droplet. I'm not sure about these two. Potion thingy and a, I don't know, thingy. Ah, oh, I just went back and checked. I got these wrong. These two down here, the ones that I thought were ships, the ship symbol, is actually this. Looking at it again, yeah, it's that. That would explain why these weren't working. So what did I originally think this was? Creature and then... Ah, oh, Christ, let's look at it again. <laughs> let's also make sure I didn't mess up anywhere else. No, those are all good. Those are definitely good. Those look exactly like the original icons. No interpretation needed, really. Okay, definitely... The first one's definitely a potion. Potion, and then I'm not sure what the second one is. So, potion. There it is. Thank you. I th 
think this contains the research of the Alexis space station. Not sure why I would need that. What do you mean, not sure why you would need that? You need it to give to the person. So, do you have any idea how we got here? From what I've seen and what that thing at the crash site told us, the Penrose must have, I don't know, flung us into the future. Don't you have scanners and stuff to tell us where we are or when? I'm not that kind of agnate. I think I had long distance scanners once, but they were removed. So they just took pieces from you? It sounds invasive. It is why I was built. It is why I live. They were not trying to harm me. I'm a military prototype. Much of my life has been spent under construction. They tried many different iterations and experiments. Restarted me, reset my memory, took away, removed many parts. When the information they got from me became unreliable, they stopped for a while. I'm sorry you went through that. You are? Yeah, of course I am. It must have been awful. They formatted me too many times. Each time, they left a little bit behind. Residual emotional programming would interfere with each new iteration. It became impossible to tell which data was intentional and which was incidental. I can still feel them working on me, human hands inside me. So no, no scanners. Nothing that could help us determine where we are. But I have my uses. I can perform medical checks. I can detect radio signals. I can detect static charge. Those things could come in handy. Any advantage is better than nothing. Thank you, civilian. I'm here to help. I love Pooch. It's weird that it doesn't do it automatically, even though the text says, give data core. Hey friend, you're fine, it? Yeah, and it wasn't easy. Ha, I had trust in you, you know. Now you want the warden access device upgrade, eh? We did have an agreement. The device for the computer core. You're right, we did it. And you did good by Jarek. Friend, you be careful in this world. Being too good, gonna get you killed. But the core is all I need. Let's upgrade your buffalo. Out of curiosity, what do you need the computer core for? I'm making a bomb, friend. I'm gonna blow up the bar cause my tab too high. <laughs> I just joking, friend. I need a circuit board to replace the old one. Make my hopper work. And then Jared is off the trade. Could you also help me find some places? For your price? No, friend. I just joke me a joke. Where are you looking to go? I need to meet someone called Grave at the kettle. And I need to get to Babel. Sure. Uh, friend, I can't do Babel. The tribulationists, them will execute me. But the kettle, I can do. Kettle is over and Saxon world. Lots to see there. I also added the Anasi fortress. If you're still looking for things, out here there can help. But eh, that not as nice as me. Nothing they not do for free. Right, friend. Give me a little time and I get you the warden ready. Got the modification. And got some new maps. So many places to go. Oh, what is that? This place looks menacing in that red bubble. My first thought is red mercury, just because of the color, but no idea if there's a connection. 
There's probably multiple places to get money for your gold, maybe? <laughs> but uh, I came back here just because, well, why not? How many? How many credits? Two credits! Not enough to buy another thing, but close. Let's head on over to the warden. We'd have to put the warden module into one of these slots here, but I don't know. Doesn't seem like it. I guess this is the warden gate interface. Man, that looks cool. Select map and corresponding warden. This feels like too high level for me, even though I don't have levels. <laughs> Let's go to Saxon Wold first. Yep, that's where the kettle is. type effect coming through the ward and that is so cool. This place looks so different from the other ones. Much more green. Hanasi Junkyard. I guess I might as well just stop everywhere really. This that was added. The huge okay. figure stares listlessly into space, muttering to himself. A rickety structure made from corrugated iron. Looks like an abandoned market stall. The hide lined blades of the mill turn slowly. rubber. Black smoke fills the air along with the stench of burning rubber. I'd say that's bad for the environment, and I mean it is, but 
Does it really matter at all? Seems to be a fighting arena, drenched in blood. Someone has lit a fire for warmth where the engine carriage used to be. Sheep and cows graze peacefully. A lot of blood in that arena. Eyes up. Holographic symbols orbit the blood spattered arena floor. Settlement has a steady supply of fresh water. Here to speak to the Hanasi leader. Hey, little book. To see Hanasi leader, you got to have a good reason. What reason you got? So often there's a dialogue option that's just like, just get out of my fucking way. I'm way too scared to do those. I have to see Uti. It's a matter of life and death. But the others tell me, cotton mouth. Keep people out, unless they're Chizanyama. And you're not Chizanyama, you just little man. I understand you're just doing your job, but is there any other way I can get in to see her? My job? Yeah, well, now that you mention, I do have a problem you could maybe help me with. I have no more herb. What's herb? Herb. Herb is what life is all about. It lets us commune with ancestors. It makes even the grayest of skies bright blue. Imagine a person you lost. A person you were talked to again. Imagine, when you were a small child, that feeling of your dad's embrace around you as you listen to his stories. You feel that, you see him, you can talk and feel all alone. I miss my dad. I miss hearing his voice. What if he is missing me? If I could get you some herb, would you let me in to see Uti? Little man, yes. In return for some time with my dad, I will let you pass. Hmm. But you know, if you get herb seeds, you need Mama's milk to make it grow strong. What is Mama's milk? It is milk from Mama. Soaking herb in a milk makes it special for the Anasi. That's what the others say. I have some here. My last god. Please look after it. Now go, little man. See you again when you have some herb for me. Mother's milk. I really hope mother is the name of a prized cow. The dwelling is built from sheets of iron and timber. I think that's it for here. Traveler's Graveyard. That's a hell of a name. Let's go there. Oh, it's a 
huge face in the ground. Wait up, my China. The bark of the tree is rough with thorns. Looks like some sort of hearse. Does it? Some weird, like, farm vehicle hearse, maybe? <laughs> this simple grass-roofed hut would have belonged to the caretaker of the graves. Gold. Gold dog! No, I don't want to offer that up. I want to keep it, but I'm sure we have to. Kind of looks like Pooch. If Pooch was a real dog. They're a real dog in spirit. Being a Pooch, being a dog, being a good boy. It's not a biological thing. It's a spiritual thing. Doubt this will ever run again. Like, for example, raccoons have big spiritual dog energy. Gizmo Fox, Chark, Pallet Douglas, Crips. Hmm. These names are very suspicious. I don't know whether this game had a Kickstarter or a Indiegogo or anything like that, but this seems like the names of backers or something. I can just feel it. The names are just too inconsistent. What are we taking from this pile of bones? Femur bone. Why? Just a dry bone. Why would I even pick this thing up? Yeah. Why? If we put it in mother's milk, maybe it'll grow nice and strong. Big shady acacia. Fence is, graveyards, eh? fence is crudely fashioned out of dry branches, bleached white in the sun. Dog statue! Fallen statues carved from white stone. Once it would have stood as tall as a skyscraper. Mm, bulwark. Mission. Then to the kettle. 